For today's presentation, we'll start by navigating to the Process Optimization Workspace. Note that we can have multiple process projects. For example, here's one analyzing our work order task performance. And this project has been modeled to look at the work order data and has served up some summary data and insights. Now the process optimization engine will also provide insight into the paths within work order tasks via the variation analysis as well as the state transitions that happen to stand out as seen in the bottleneck analysis. Through viewing all of these, the improvement opportunities, the variation, and the bottleneck analyses, Lisa Ray can drill into the, anal the analyst workbench and view the process map of these records. For now, Lisa wants to perform a standalone analysis to view all the records and their processes. To initiate that, she'll navigate to the analyst workbench. She can view process maps and use the model options to expand the level of detail within the process map. Furthermore, she can view the breakdown filters. Now in this scenario, Lisa notices the difference in average duration between the Foster City technicians and the Northern California technicians. And of course, she wants to understand why. What's the root cause? Lisa next applies a filter to restrict the data to just the Northern California technicians and views that process map. From there, she can initiate a comparison with the Foster City technicians. Upon review, Lisa can see the state transitions highlight that the time to assign NorCal technicians is significantly higher than it is assigning Foster City technicians. And of course, she wants to know more. So by clicking on the transition, we can see the analytical details and data distribution. And here we see there are a few records actually causing this issue. A few outlier tasks that can take an excessive time to assign. Lisa can apply the filter to see just the offending records. It is at this point that we see those offending records are actually for install jobs. This is an opportunity for our improvement. Back on the comparison record, Lisa can add notes and include any at mentions. In all, we've seen how the process optimization workspace allows us to visualize work order tasks and other field service related data, including their process maps. We can identify the root cause and document the issues. Note that for customers who have also implemented our continual improvement management, they can, can create an improvement initiative and document the implementation of processes and tools that will help address the issue.